this 80-year-old Vietnamese lady with a lateral lentiginous melanoma on the plantar weight-bearing surface of the right heel, Clark level 4, with two biopsy sites confirming a 1.5 to 2.2 millimetre range. We'll stop. Eight-year-old Vietnamese with an acral lentiginous melanoma, Clark level 4, with a range of sizes to 1.2 to 2.5 to 2.2, depending on the over here, biopsy sites 1 and 2. Reconstruction is going to be plantar arch neurovascular on the medial plantar. Did you, did you? And that comes into there, and we graph that site there. Cut. Right, on again now. This 81 year old Vietnamese lady with an acral lentiginous melanoma of the calcaneal. Okay, in this series of slides, one can see the area of the acral lentiginous melanoma in macro form. Number two is the excisional defect coming through and skinning it across the calcaneum and giving an area of size approximately uh, six by five, if I recall correctly. Anyway, the reconstruction consists of medial plantar island fascial, plantar fascia island flap, keystone design, and therefore the keystone principles with the island and the fascia turned on itself on hard points and closing initially under tension to close a calcaneal defect. The subsequent defect distally along the lateral border near the styloid process of metatarsal 5, one I was going to graph that defect but I managed to get a VY closure. Uh, there was no worry with circulation, the pinkness of the flab indicates its hyperemic phase and the patient healed without complications. I can only state also that the serial removal of sutures, that is one week for the loops, two weeks for the some interrupters, but most importantly, the locking mattress sutures stay in three weeks at the point of maximum tension. Now I'll give you a video of her post-operative results of a sensate repair over the plantar surface of the right heel. Right, on again now. This 81-year-old Vietnamese lady with an acral lentiginous melanoma of the calcaneal, of the plantar surface of the calcaneum of the uh, right lower limb has now got a full healed plantar bearing surface of the undersurface of the foot. Full stop. I get her daughter now to scratch the area of the flap to see what sensory recovery is. Now kindly just scratch the area of the flap. Okay then, and see if she does any movement. In other words, there is movement there by the patient uh, as a result of contact stimulation.